You're all going to be thrown into a communist system. It's a communist system. You're going to be thrown into a system where everybody gets health care. <gasps> I you know, like there were people back decades ago, you'd walk past them on the street, they'd be standing maybe with like a, a private megaphone boom box and they'd be saying that that would happen. And you thought at the time, no, that's just some rando crazy. It could never happen. And now it's gonna happen. We're all gonna have health care. No, I love that that's a line that he will put in and then he'll turn to like is saying that he speaks for like the forgotten Americans. Does he understand that one of the things he says when he says things are too expensive is that healthcare is too expensive? Um, out of reach for some people. The idea that you would fear monger around people being protected in the event of devastating medical news is just a really weird way to campaign. But it's especially weird if you remember how he campaigned the first time. Because back then, before he'd figured out like what the sort of core tenets of the MAGA world would be, he tried out a few things. And one of the things he said at that point was he promised insurance for everybody as the, the health law replacement for Obamacare, saying we're gonna have insurance for everybody. There was a philosophy in some circles that if you can't pay for it, you don't get it. That's not gonna happen with us. There'd be great health care that left people beautifully covered, beautiful as a slice of chocolate cake. So that's what he was saying. He was literally saying there's gonna be Medicare for all. He said it in a Republican debate on stage. Fast forward like a decade or whatever, he still hasn't put out literally any plan. But he's demonizing Harris as not only supporting single payer health care, which, by the way, don't get too excited. She's not like there's already headlines. She's not going to be pushing for Medicare for all, which really shouldn't be surprising to you. But the idea, Jordan, that she's a communist. I mean, how are we supposed to have a democracy when these are the ways that our like political debates uh, happen? They they will call anybody a communist. They have the same playbook no matter who the candidate is, whether they are the most moderate, centrist, cautious Democratic politician. They called Biden a communist. They will call anybody a communist. That that holds zero weight. And while she doesn't support Medicare for all anymore, I wish she would. Let's talk about Trump's health care uh, policies. While he was president, 2.3 million people lost health insurance. And thankfully, the Affordable Care Act, while not perfect, was not rolled back. They tried multiple times to repeal it. That would have resulted in millions and millions and millions of more people losing health insurance and many of them dying. Thousands died. And you can see there's a study conducted by Harvard that looked at the result of Trump's interventions in the healthcare, whether it's reducing the penalty for not having health insurance to zero, expanding short term and junk. Healthcare plans on marketplaces, removing federal funding in some instances for marketplace navigators. All of these things working around the edges resulted in 2 million people, over 2 million people losing health insurance while he was president. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's the way forward. And despite running on insurance for everybody, he didn't do that. He pretends to be a populist. He says he supports these things just to get support from people, people who are desperate. And I do feel bad for them who want that. And then he goes and does corporations bidding. Here, one more example. I went to an event for TYT a couple of years ago. It was the anniversary, I think of January 6th, or it was some January 6th related protest outside the Capitol. And the producers wanted me to ask, when Trump is put back into office, what's the first thing you want him to do? Multiple people said they wanted universal health care. So mm -hmm. these people want this plan. They don't want the socialist version, I guess, but they want the same thing just without the label that Republicans unfairly malign it with. Yeah, I, I love that because it's <laughs> like you combine that with, you know, like the old, like, keep your government hands off my Medicare signs and everything. And like, I don't want to get too hard on these people. Like, low, like when you talk about low information voters, it seems really judgy. We just mean that people that, you know, don't have a reason to or the time to understand these issues on like a deep level or whatever. They know what they need. But the way that they get all their information is propaganda. It's it's through Fox News demonizing things that that they love the substance of, but they never get to the substance. It's wrapped in this terminology designed to uh, to fearmonger and and like 
in terms of that just being the strategy, we're just gonna say a label and hope that people don't actually look into whether it's in their economic interest or not. We have this great interaction between a reporter and Donald Trump at his press conference where the reporter says, what's your campaign strategy besides talking about Kamala Harris? He's been criticized a lot for talking about Harris instead of talking about his plans. And he says, all we have to do is define our opponent as being a communist or a socialist or somebody that's gonna destroy our country. And I think we're doing a great job. Like again, he, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't, he barely can even do that shallow, easy thing. Um, in terms of actually like running on something, he's got nothing. And and for those of you who aren't just watching the clip, if you're watching the full show, like the theme of this first hour is Harris is at least promising things. We'll have a debate and probably a fight if she becomes president about getting her to actually do them, but she's promising things. And so you have the right saying, People are hurting, the price are too high, they can't afford anything. And so Harris is like, okay, so we're gonna do these 10 things to help people out. And the right's like, not like that. And they just, they don't want any help. They don't want price controls and they don't want assistance to home buyers. They don't want assistance to students and all that. They don't want to make sure that you have health care. And we're gonna go through all the examples. I'm not just making like a blanket assertion or anything. But like, again, this is just, this is no way to campaign. <laughs> 